this female has been referred for abdominal distension 15 days postpartum she delivered a female baby 15 days back she is in postpartum period she complains that the pain started from the epigastric region it was severe and excruciating so let us see the pancreas This is the pancreas in transfer section. Well, uh, you should be very careful while scanning the pancreas with an empty bowel because what happens is that this tubular anechoic structure is labeled as either a vessel or a pancreatic duct, whereas the pancreatic location is this one. This is the pancreatic body and, and uh, this is the collapsed bowel in fact. So this area represents the collapsed bowel. This is a bowel segment and uh, this area is the pancreas, this is the body of the pancreas. Why it is pancreas? Because this vessel that you are seeing posterior to the body of the pancreas and this is the tail of the pancreas. So the area you are seeing, this vessel is the saplenic vein and the saplenic vein is taken as the landmark for the identification of the pancreas. This is the superior mesenteric artery in transfer section. This is the aorta. This is the IVC, both in transfer section. This is the left lobe of the liver. Now, this structure, if you see, is uh, a bowel wall and uh, not a vessel, and it is not a uh, pancreatic duct. So, whenever you see such a structure, always give a 90 degree angle sweep and you will see that the same area that you were seeing has taken the shape of an echogenic area with surrounded by a hypochoic area the major this is the wall of the uh, of the vessel of the uh, bowel which is the duodenum <coughs> and it measures 3.1 normal is up to 15 uh, sorry 5 mm is taken as up to normal now when I again rotate the probe 90 degrees, it again takes a longitudinal shape and is seen just anterior to the anterior, this is the anterior border of the pancreas, this is the pancreas, saplenic vein and so this is the bubble. So the bubble changes its shape, here it is again. So you see now it has become from longitudinal to transfer section. It changes. And if you keep the probe for some while in this region, this bubble will change its shape. You will see some gases through it. And why these two structures are being seen so clearly, the reason is that uh, the liver is seen as a window, this is the liver, and the window, is this window, and liver is an excellent window for the visualization of the structures below. So the pancreas is normal, pancreatic, uh, and this is the gallbladder. There are no calculi in the gallbladder. This is the gallbladder. This is the portal vein, this is the port, uh, ligament of venosum, this is the IVC and the left lobe of the liver. So here is the aorta. This is superior mesenteric artery rising from the aorta, longitudinal section of the liver. And here you see the 
head of the pancreas. Again, a vessel lying in close proximity. This is the head of the pancreas. This is the bowel target sign. It's also called a target sign of bowel segment, which is echogenic in the center and hypopoic at the periphery. The hypopoic area representing the bowel wall. This is the head of the pancreas. So up to this point, the study goes normal. This is the portal vein. This is the portal vein. This is the hepatic artery. This is the inferior vena cava, superior mesenteric artery, aorta, and this is IVC. This is the probe of the liver. So there is no significant finding in this region. Now, as she is postpartum and uh, pain was in the epigastric region, we have seen that the pancreas is normal and that the gallbladder uh, is also normal. Here you see, I can get both the gallbladder and the pancreas. With a little bit of effort, this is the gallbladder. This is the pancreas. This is the pancreas, this white band of tissue, okay. and uh, this is the this is the splenic vein. This is the aorta. Uh, this is the IVC, and IVC is not dilated. And this is the liver with smooth outer surface, normal echogenicity no coarseness, no periotic plan lymph nodes, 